Yeah. I know what you're thinking. Uh, I wonder what this guy's views on politics are. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, yeah, look, I, yeah, I don't want to get too political, you know what I mean? You guys have got to laugh and stuff like that. Uh, but I've been trying to get smarter, more politically correct and stuff. So uh, what I thought to get smarter is I read this book on uh, quantum physics. Big mistake. Uh, yeah, I went into the deep end too early, you know. Uh, the only thing I learned from reading a book on quantum physics is if you put the word quantum in front of something, it sounds smarter. So you could call someone a dickhead and they're like, oh yeah, whatever, mate. Stop trying to have sex with my prize greyhound. <laughs> But you could call someone a quantum dickhead and they're like, holy shit, not only have I been insulted, I've been insulted by an intellect. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> yeah, guys, I don't, want to get I don't want to get too political. Like a lot of comedians, they rip on the politicians, you know what I mean? They're, like, there's this politician called uh, Cory Bernardi. And, uh, oh man, he's a, he's a right-wing Catholic politician, so he's a, a fun guy. And, uh, <laughs> Anyway, he, he's not so much about gay marriage, you know, probably because it's fun. Um, and I thought he was a bit of a dumbo, but then he said something quite profound that struck me. He said something along the lines of, if men kiss men and women kiss women, what's next? People kissing animals? And I'm like, <laughs> you've swung me there, Corey. <laughs> Lucky you're in the big house making the mad decisions. <laughs> But I've got to disagree with Corey, because I reckon it depends what animal you're going to kiss. <laughs> like if someone walked up to me and said, hey Nick, I just kissed a dog, then I'd go, ah, oh, you're a weirdo. Plus it's easy. <laughs> but if someone came up to me and said, hey Nick, I just kissed a giraffe, then I'd go, ah, oh, still a weirdo. However, that's quite impressive. <laughs> uh, because you need a lot of stuff to be able to kiss a giraffe, don't you? You know, they're not the smallest of animals. You need some kind of ladder. You know, you probably need some kind of holster to keep the giraffe still. You know, like some custom-made holster, because giraffes don't like to be kissed. <laughs> not before dinner and a movie, anyway. <laughs> Found that out the hard way. Uh, anyway, <laughs> Corey Bernardi. <laughs> what a quantum dickhead. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, guys, sorry to get political. Uh, sorry to blow your minds. <laughs> yeah, but I have been trying to get smarter because, like, there's smart people all around us, isn't there? Like, uh, to get smarter, I've been listening to um, hip-hop music. Oh, man, so good, right? My favourite hip-hop artist is Notorious B.I.G. So good. He's got the best lyrics. My favourite lyrics of his are, People thought I was dead in the streets. But really, I was getting high, getting head, on the beach. <laughs> and when I first heard that, I thought, whoa, what a game of Chinese whispers gone wrong. <laughs> really good lyrics. <laughs> Now, I've also been trying to get smarter because I've been trying to be a more interesting guy, you know, a more interesting guy to meet friends and to meet new people. Because, like, last, last year I went through a breakup and it was really crap because I'm 35. And, I don't know, breakups are a bit different to when you're 35, to when you're 18. Like, when you break up with someone when you're 18, your mates are just like, Yeah, bruh, welcome back! <laughs> Disco ball comes from the ceiling. Wanna get dirty? Sweat dripping over my body. It's about time for my arrival. Little Wayne's in the corner with a chalice, going, "Yeah, hey, Nick, welcome back. Yeah, your friend now. Shit." But when you're 35, your mates are like, "Oh, that sucks, man." <laughs> You're dead now. <laughs> the road is long. The days we've been winding through. E e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e
singing that in Aldi with a... <laughs> with a nine pack of moose just going, where did it go wrong? <laughs> anyway, guys, I've been Nick Cabot. Thank you very much. <laughs>